My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Yeah, probably nobody's gonna watch this video. I mean, who's interested in a 70 Chevelle SS454 convertible with a four speed? But if you do decide to watch the video, it's a great car. I think the biggest asset it has going for it is it's clean original metal. I believe it's the original quarter panels, floors. It's really dry, straight. I drove the car home. It runs and drives really well. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs study over 100 pictures, and you'll find the prices on all of the collector cars we offer for sale. Right now we have about 200. So go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, tops down, join me, let's go for a spin. A uh, fellow I bought it from said it was body off frame restored. It is very clean underneath. Like I was saying, the metal is nice. The floors are just smooth, the braces, the inner rockers, even behind the tires, all nice, clean, smooth metal. I don't see cuts or splices or crunchy areas. Uh, it's not hidden with undercoat or tar, just nice, smooth, clean, semi-gloss metal. Even the components on the chassis, the frame, the A-arms, they're smooth. Front end does look like it's been all rebuilt. The ball joints and bushings and shocks and even the cotter pins, all of it looks like it's been rebuilt. Uh, it does have the F41 suspension. That means it has sway bars in the front and back. And in back, the uh, control arms are boxed, more rigid. Uh, fuel system was replaced, the tank, the straps. Uh, it's got a Flowmaster exhaust system with the correct SS cowbell tips. It also has electric dumps under there. The uh, bottom of the motor is clean. It's Chevy orange. It's nice and clean. It has a high torque starter with a heat insulation wrap around it. Uh, it's a 1968 Muncie four speed transmission that's in there. Uh, it's got a 12 volt rear end. So the body is really nice and straight. Got a cow induction hood that's super desirable. This does work. The gaps up here, this can be tricky up here and it fits real nicely, nice and square. The gaps around the doors are nice and it is smooth. No bubbles, no blisters, it's all smooth. No problem areas. And again, like I said, it is straight. The body line's real nice does have that hairline crack. It's just a straight hairline. Convertibles all twist and flex. There's a seam right here and they always crack. Stripes are painted on, smooth to the touch. Trunk lid's real nice. Actually, the paint is real slick. I don't know what's got on there, but it's slick. Got that same hairline crack right here. Uh, the rear bumper is re-chromed, has the SS pad, new tail light lenses. Looks like the wheel well moldings, the uh, emblems, mirrors, door handles, they've all been replaced. It's a white convertible top, it's power, it's in very nice shape. New windshield, the window seals up on top still look new. The, the weather strips have been replaced. The bottom of this door here, nice clean edge, nice and crisp and clean. Sill plates are shiny. The SS wheels are in great shape. The trim looks like it's new. And they have uh, the wide oval reproduction tires. Everything up front's excellent. The bumper, the emblem, the bezels, the grill, all that's in really nice shape. The motor is a 454 motor. It's got an Edelbrock intake, a big dual feed Holly carb. MSD ignition system with the Pro Billet distributor, uh, blaster two coil, it's got nice plug wires, dressed up with some nice aluminum valve covers, aluminum uh, gooseneck. The front of the motor has the March pulley and bracket system, so it's all billet brackets, uh, serpentine belt, 
chrome one wire alternator, chrome power steering, has a chrome plated power brake booster and master cylinder. The interior, it's all been replaced. It's a pearl white interior, so it looks good and it stays cool. I do wish they would have put cushions in the seats as well. The upholstery is excellent, but it is wrinkled some. If you did want to put cushions in there, you can just reuse the same upholstery. Uh, so they redid the interior and it's all very nice. Uh, the reproduction, the chrome trim kind of peels off the door panel. So it's loose right here. You can probably glue that with a little super glue. Trunk, I was up in here. I don't see any cuts or splices. It's nice, clean metal. The seams and the jam look original. The trunk floor is just dry, clean, original. It's been spatter painted nicely. Couple tears in the uh, trunk mat. That's easy to change. Has a jack and a spare. Under the trunk lid and the jam is painted nicely. The whole dash area, that is excellent. The instrument panel, probably new. The vents are new. The heater controls look real nice. It has an original AM radio. I don't think it's working, but it's in the dash with the right knobs. The dash pad has no cracks or splits. It has a new deluxe wheel. Uh, it's got headers. It runs cool with an aluminum radiator, dual electric fans. And this is not like high-end show quality, but it's all very nice. The firewall's clean, inner fenders, all this is smooth satin black metal. Hinges are painted gray. It's all very respectable. Getting back to the interior, the carpet's been replaced. The center console's in nice shape. It's a new Hearst four-speed. Owner's manual in the glove box. The visors look new. It's got some gauges down below the dash. They're digital, they work. So why don't we fire it up for you? It's got the complete set of GM seat belts. Dumps were open when I started it. They actually kind of startled me. Now they're closed. How induction flap does work. The mirror looks new. It's got a cam in there, nice lopy sound. It sounds pretty impressive. You open the dumps, like, oh my God. Uh, so, my impression obviously, super desirable car, high quality body and paint underneath is real nice. There's a lot of work that's been done. Some little details, you know, some cushion, the uh, plastic cover on this outer seat belt's kind of old and tattered. Some little things you can do and really bring it up a notch. This is 15 grand less than the last two or three of these that I've sold. So you can probably spend a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, and really uh, make it a really, really nice car. That's my impression anyway. You can go to volocars.com and plenty of ways to contact the salesman. If you have specific concerns or questions, make sure you ask them. They'll help you out the best they can. And we can also help with financing, delivery. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thank you.